Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Wednesday, May 22nd. So glad that you can join together with us. Remember, tonight, 7 p.m., we are on our online refire service. Amen. All right, so our Bible reading today is John 8, 21 through 36, if you're reading through the New Testament with us. How about verse 31 and 32? Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, how many are believers today? If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Thank God for the word of God, which is truth to us. Amen? Okay, so today we're praying for our young people. That's our prayer focus. In the United States, we're praying for ten Tennessee, 52% evangelical Christians. Wow. And then Mississippi, 41%. Tennessee has about 7 million people. Uh, Mississippi has about 3 million. And then for our world focus today, it's Bolivia. Bolivia has 12 million people, almost 20% evangelical Christians. Number 41 on your prayer map. And again, we have more of these at the Welcome Center. If you would like one, if you're um, <clears throat> not at our church or another church, you can write Every Home for Christ and they'll send you as many as you want for no charge. Amen. It's a gift. It's a, it's a wonderful thing they do. All right. We're going to go ahead and pray. Again, we're going to take time at the end to wait upon the Lord. And again, if the Lord gives you something, write it down on comments. If the Lord, for something specific, please email it to us so that it does, there's a lot of comments there that we don't miss it. Amen. So just email us. You can write the church, CFFC. You can write me, Pastor Tom at CFFC, Brandy at CFFC, whichever one you want. Amen. Just go to our website, go on the staff, and you have all of our email addresses. All right. Let's go ahead and pray today. Precious Father, we do thank you for this new day. Man, it was hot. And it's still hot, but that's okay. It'll cool down. This is New Jersey for you. It gets cool, it gets hot. We have such a beautiful variety here. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for life, Lord. And more importantly, thank you that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah! That we're going to live forever. Oh, I just pinch myself sometimes. And I know that the suffering of this present age is not worthy to be compared for what's in store for us. Woohoo! So we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Our redemption is drawing nigh. We are looking up. You're a good, good father. You love us. You help us. You guide us in this life, Lord. We're learning much, and I believe what we learn will go into the eternals, Lord. So, Lord, to you be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. So, Lord, today we begin praying for our United States of America. And, Lord, you have blessed our nation beyond words. And in some ways, we're spitting in your face right now, Lord. Not us Christians, but what these people are doing by bringing this horrendous stuff into our nation. But, Lord... We pray, God, help America. You've blessed us, now we need help. So we call on you. You said if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, that you would hear our prayers from heaven, that you would forgive our sins, you would heal our land. Lord, I don't know if we're past that tipping point as a nation, we are doing some things that are, if I read the Old Testament, <laughs> oh my, oh my. But I thank you that we're under grace right now, Lord, and that you're long-suffering. You're long-suffering, Lord. You desire that no man perish but all be saved. So we continue to pray for the United States of America. We lift up Tennessee. We lift up Mississippi before you. We pray for these two Bible Belt nations, and we pray that they could just send missionaries all over the place, Lord, and even into our own nation. I thank you for that, Lord. Father, we lift up our youth, our young people, Lord. And Lord, not just America, it's the whole world. 
what I see going on in Europe, what I see going on in South America and other places, Lord, where the, where the law and order has, it's just vanished. It's lawlessness. It's violence. It's, I want to punch that person. I'm going to punch him. It's, oh, it's just respect, lack of respect for others, Lord, especially our elderly and all. So I pray for our young people that they'll get the fear of God in their hearts. They'll understand, yes, God's a loving, compassionate, merciful God, but he is also a God to be feared. He will send people to hell. You know, we send ourselves there by not accepting the gift, but he will let people go to hell on that day. He is just. He is a good God. I thank you for that, Father. I thank you that you made a way for heaven. And Father, when we get saved, we're to produce good fruits, Lord. So we pray for our young people. We pray for our nation. We pray now for our world. We lift up Bolivia before you, Father, and we pray for this nation. Here it's asking for prayer on this political situations, that things are very tense. There has been some unrest. This is resulting in much conflict throughout the nation. Please pray for peace and for God's word to permeate heart, penetrate hearts. Pray for many to come to Jesus despite the difficulties people are facing in personal lives right now. So we pray for this, Lord. We pray for our world. We pray for Bolivia. I lift up Enzwantia, Lestro, South Africa, Turkey, Cyprus, Lebanon, and Israel will hold on to that one as we uh, pray for them this morning, Lord. So, Father, we lift up our world before you and we pray for our world. As Israel is on our prayer chart today, and we see that it's 0.6% evangelical Christians with 8.7 million people there are more people in Israel now than there are scattered around the world. Another miracle. As Father, I taught on Sunday and one more week this Sunday, Israel, the land of miracle, land of miracles. It's just mind boggling when you really study it out, what you have done to this little state. And Lord, this little state's going through a trying time right now. This little country, excuse me. So we pray for Israel, we pray for this nonsense that's being uh, war crimes and all that are trying to be brought against them. What a foolish time we live in. What a time of total delusion, Lord. But we Christians are not delusional. We are watchers. We know what's going on. Scripture must and will be fulfilled. We pray for our future capital, Jerusalem. And we pray for the people of Jerusalem on this 22nd day of May, Lord. We pray for Israel. We pray for the Middle East and the surrounding nations around there, Lord. Father, I lift up organizations that are in Israel today and that are around the world. North American Mission Board, Northland Church, Northern Canadian Evangelism Missions, Officers Christian Fellowship, OMF International, One Challenge, One Mission Society. I lift up also Bethany International, World Outreach, and King of Kings Church right there in Jerusalem. I pray today for Billy Brim Ministries, and she's doing a work in Israel. We pray, Father, for the body of CFFC, every member, attender, and guest. And I pray for them, and I pray your blessings upon this church. We lift up every church that's preaching the gospel today. And I pray, Lord, that you would use them mightily for your honor and your glory, that people would become on fire people for you. And I thank you for that. I lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, Lord, and we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. And I pray, Almighty God, for those that are struggling, those that have addictions, those that are battling things, those that have family members that are unsaved, children that are going through the nonsense of this world, I pray for this church and I pray for every church, Lord. Now, Lord, we just take a little bit of time to wait upon thy precious Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord. 
Just worship him quietly right there. We love you, Lord. Worship you. Worship you. Worship you. Worship you. I hear, I think the word, I'm saying it right, tendinitis, that ringing in the ear. Be gone in Jesus' name. Be gone in Jesus' name. Ringing, go. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Somebody's having a problem with their foot. Might be foots, but I hear foot. We just pray over feet right now in Jesus' name. We pray for healing in feet. Healing in, actually in the, in the toes, you know, the, 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 whatever you call them down there, our toes, our pinky toes, all, all our little uh, fingers down there, Lord. We pray, we pray for, for, for those, Lord, the big toe, the little toe, and everything in between. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray for uh, plant uh, plant the fascia, I think it's called. I, I pray for that in the foot, Lord, that pain at the bottom. We just command that to go right now. Plant the fascia, you're a name. You bow your knee to the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I heard that. Arthritis, we come against you right now in Jesus' name. You're a name, you bow your knee to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, Lord, we also thank you from the top of our head to the soles of our feet, things we don't even know about that are happening in our bodies. Lord, if we need correction in our diet, if we need help with a certain vitamin or, or, uh, or to see a doctor, whatever it might be, Lord, thank you for the wisdom, the insight, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom that you give by your precious Holy Spirit. And I thank you. Thank you for that. I thank you for my brothers and sisters that are here today that we could join together. This is not a Tom Fiola thing. This is a prayer team, a prayer team, praying together, believing together, trusting together. I thank you as we share this more and more are joining us and that we're seeing more and more victories more and more great things for your honor and your glory. Now, sir as, we, sir, as we wrap up, we give you the praise and the honor. We love you, Daddy. We love you so much. Thank you for Jesus, and thank you for thy precious Holy Spirit who abides within us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is good. Please let us know what the Lord is doing. A quick email. You don't have to write a page. Just write a paragraph. Let us know. Amen. We love to share victories. Amen. We got enough bad news in this world. It'd be good to have some good news. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Wednesday. Join us tonight. It's a lot of fun with the comments and stuff. God bless.